So Gina and I rode car camping for two weeks in Kujabaquak National Park, and we took along a lot of comforts, of course, things like, uh, well, our cell phones, uh, my tablet, my flashlights, headlamps, all the things that need cords or cables to charge them up. And I had power stations that I could do the recharging with. One thing really bothered me though over the over that two weeks, and that was the cables themselves. I had them all stuffed in a little, little bag like this. And what I had is I had some USB type A to USB type C, USB type A to micro USB, the older style, and even some newer, the USB to, to USB fast charge cables. And I was using all of them. And what I found is every time I'd reach into the bag to grab one of the cables, I'd end up pulling them all out at the same time. You know, they just kind of all bundled together like this. And you know what? They weren't like that when I put them in the bag. I actually coiled them up properly, put them in the bag, but then they spring out on themselves. They catch on each other and they were being pulled out of the bag. Then I'd have to go through them one at a time to see which one is which in order to use it. And what I actually found at the end of the two weeks is that a couple of them were, I guess from being worked too much, stopped working themselves. So when I got home, I was thinking, there's gotta be a better way of doing this. Another set of cables, some solution to this that would work. And that made it perfect timing for a company called Megtame who reached out to me and offered to send some cables that may actually solve the problem. They have magnetic cables. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on these, keep watching. So when Megtame did reach out to me and offered to send me a couple of cables, I chose two very different cables. First off, I chose a 240 watt Thunderbolt round cable. I'll talk more about that in a minute and a 60 watt flat roll cable. And this is USB-A to USB-C, just to see the differences between the different styles. But they do have a range of cables in different attachments, different uh, types of plugs on either end, and different qualities, different lengths as well. And that's also a part of it. And uh, yeah, so when the cables arrived, my first initial impression was, wow, these things are really, truly a high uh, quality cable. Maybe I can give you a few close-ups on it. Can you see how thick they are? and they're wound together with a looks like a metallic type of thread being uh, woven around the outside so it's not just simply a silicone or rubberized cable over the wires it's very very heavy duty I suspect when, even when you look at the attachment points you can see just how well made they are I don't think you know unless short of abusing them that they're going to cause any damage to just through regular use so those were the two cables they sent me and I started to test them out and they worked according to exactly what you would expect them to do according to their specifications. So I'm very impressed with these cables. These should help solve the issue of them all getting caught together. Now what makes these so special is the fact that they have a magnetized wiring running through the cables that helps it kind of roll together like this and they will stack up the coiling of them is you know it can be as small as you want to roll it up and they're going to just pack away nice the flat one has its own way of doing it the other one of course is more like a coil and you can they'll even you know stick together as well so that's not bad either now one thing I want to say about these, and this does not diminish their value, but it was a bit of a disappointment in that when I took a look at the MagTime promotional videos, uh, they had a feature about them which is not entirely accurate. And what they were showing, and, and I'm a bit disappointed as you can tell, what they were showing is that these cables would, at least it appeared, that when you pull them apart like this, that they would automatically go back into a coil. They don't, I mean, they just don't. And if you actually stretch them out to full length, they don't, when you drop them on the ground, they coil a little bit, but they don't go back. Well, there's what happened, right? Okay, just one big open coil. They don't look like the slinky they're showing on the videos when they come back together. I don't want you to think that that undermines the quality of these cables in any way. It's just a little bit misleading in their videos that they actually will coil back together on themselves. Having said that, they still, you know, very quickly wind up in a coil with very little work like that.
That's the only downside of these cables. Nothing to do with the quality or the functionality or certainly the storability. That's what it's all about. I point this out for a reason. These are not inexpensive. You can buy much less expensive cables. Uh, if you want to get a high quality cable, you start to approach the price of these, but you, uh, you know, you're not getting all the functionality that the video shows. Just the same. I do recommend these cables in terms of quality and in terms of the ability to store them like this and I'm actually probably going to add a few more to my collection because you need more than just two cables when you go car camping these days at least or at least we do. Okay that's all I have. If you have any comments or questions put them in the comments section below. I'll be putting the links to these two cables specifically with MagTame so you can take another look at them in case it's something you may want to purchase for yourself. All right get out and explore. Take that past less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.